It's time to do some indoor planting. I'm going to do it with the Vedic method and this is one of those planters which hangs so it has a little bit of coir on it. I put some soil in and I'm going to be putting in nine little copper coins. I'm going to set an intention and that is going to be health for this particular plant. So you can set whatever intention you want and whatever intention you need. I love indoor plants, but I do like indoor plants that also serve a purpose. So today I'm going to be planting a Boston fern. Boston fern is otherwise called Nephrolepis exaltata. And you have to be very careful when you're taking this plant out of its little pot. So you really want to hold it like so, grab it underneath and then slowly loosen it up. Now if you pull it out, it will damage the root system. So pull it out very, very, very gently, like so, okay? And as soon as it comes out, make sure that you take it in like that, and then loosen up the root system. You have to loosen it up really nice. So then you allow it to sit like that. And then we're going to be filling in the soil all around. And put them in. We can possibly flip it out a little bit. It is such a beautiful plant. I grew up with this thing, so there's lots of nostalgia, which is around the nephrolipus. And it takes care of toluene and xylene. So if you have any toluene in your house and xylene, it also takes care of formaldehyde, my mom used to say. So we used to have it everywhere. So there we have it. The fan is all ready to be hung. Make sure that you look at every end of the fern to make sure it doesn't have any dry edges. And if it has any dry edges, it's just perfect to snip it off. And what we could do is let's just make sure that everything is looking really fluffy and beautiful. And then it is time to hang it up. And make sure you have a very beautiful and clean environment in your home. And this plant will take care of all of that xylene and toluene and formaldehyde. Until we meet again in another episode of Om Living. This is Vaidya Priyanka.